What's happening? I'm at 64 Josh. This is just a little micro interview with uh, Dasmi from Res TV, Super Nintendo from a couple of podcasts that are, you know, on their way. Uh, are they're on their way back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and Pit, Pit's Pit's just like the most faithful mod in my in my Twitch, and sometimes he podcasts too, right, Pit? Yeah, yeah, I just, I don't have anything going on right now. Okay. All right. So, real quick, Dasmi, tell me. Yes. Tell me. What, what do you, what do you love about Animal Crossing right now? Um, everything. Everything. I, I've been, I've been playing it all day. Um, hunting bugs. I just made a Trancha Island for the first time. I, people have been talking about it and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I could do that later. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do that tonight. And I have I have a full bag of tarantulas in my shop clothes. And it's like, ah, you <laughs> son of a gun. Um, but <laughs> fishing and bug catching and laying out the island and inviting villagers and crafting. Like, there's just so much in this game. Um, I've played every Animal Crossing, and this is the one that I, I just, I'm addicted to. Like, I, I want to do all the things. It's, uh, it, it's, I don't know, it's quite the accomplishment for me to put this thing out. Love it, love it. Last night, I got a video going out today. It, uh, last night, I did the Tarantula Island twice, but had Flick in my town and made almost oh. 500,000 off Dude. the Tarantulas twice. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's good stuff right there. Yeah, so you're going to be you're going to be coming on over to my town. I can drop the uh I can drop the my island here. Here's the uh the ID. Pit Tell me about your experience with Animal Crossing New Horizons. What uh, what have been some of oh, your favorite yeah. things? So mine is actually like the opposite of Dasmi's, right? So this is my first Animal Crossing game. So everything is new. Every, every like little like article of clothing, every like flower, every bug. So it's been like it's been awesome just discovering all the 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 little like um, the details mm -hmm. for everything, right? Um, I love all of the uh, the jokes. I think they're hilarious, and you get for anything that you anything that you uh, you donate to your museum, you get another joke from Blathers as well. Um, it's, the sense of humor has really kind of caught me off guard, and I'm I'm really digging it so far. Love it. That's great. That's great. Super Nintendo, you've seen the future. Yeah. You, you it was so you you knew it was gonna rain tomorrow I knew it was like, like yeah i got my i got my raincoat on yeah um i'm the opposite of pit i uh actually imported the n64 version of animal forest and so i've been playing since the n64 really and then, uh yeah and um pretty much just playing since then and then whenever anyone comes out i've been time traveling ever since <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. If uh, let's see. So we got some. We got some. Some old timers. Some new timers. Let's. Dasmi, is there any piece of advice you would want to give somebody that's just getting into Animal Crossing for the first time? Oh, jeez. Um. No pressure. None at yeah. all. Yeah. I, 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 it's not really a tip, but I. I just figured something else out uh, a couple days ago and it's it's made my life so much easier and that is I go every morning or whenever I'm whenever I have some time I go to every single tree in my whole island I shake it I catch the wasp if there's wasps I pick up the item that falls and then I hit it with uh, flimsy axes three times and I leave the stuff on the ground and I visit every single tree in my whole island and, I, and so there's stuff all over the ground and then I go pick it up mm -hmm. and then I don't have to worry about have I shaken this tree is there gonna right. be a wasp there do I have to cut it down do I, have I gotten all the fruit um I do that now and uh then when I have extra wood and stuff I just craft just garbage and then I sell it and it makes me like an extra 60k bells every day just from just from harvesting stuff it's uh it's a pretty decent way to make some money I like it I like it Pit, being new to the series, is there any any questions, anything that you're wondering about? Oh man, um, these are all on the spot. So yeah, you know. yeah, right. Um, so I guess the next big thing I'm really interested in is KK Slider coming to town. Mm -hmm. um, 
what do I need to make sure that I'm ready to make sure that like that happens? Well, I think the only one of us that can answer it because he probably has seen him is uh, is Superintendent. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot here. Uh, right now, I have a one star rating on my town. You have to have a five star rating. Um, as Whoa. you play the game at a normal pace, <laughs> you 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 build up your infrastructure. You invite people. You got to get ten ten people living here, ten ten other residents, right? And. Uh, um, that's that's kind of all I think based on the the decorations and the the flowers and, and all that other stuff is uh, is how you're gonna get your get your rating up. Maybe uh, maybe Superintendent who's uh, already already done this can can enlighten us a little further. Well, yeah, you just need to get uh, three stars actually, a three star oh, town. There you go. So you all you basically you need town square, and then you need to get three stars. So you basically need your ten. 10 people and then you just need to have enough your island populated with enough doodads and flowers in order to bring it up to a level 3. Level 5 will get you the golden um, the golden uh, watering can to let you, so then that way you can water the 9 squares around. Nine oh, nice. Around. Uh, this just in, pudding from the chat. So, any, here's what we've been doing tonight. Uh, I've, for the last four hours and 40 minutes, I've done nothing but make bait for people that are trying to catch the stringfish. So, and we've had other people in the community come together. And if we've already caught the stringfish, we're just making bait and feeding all of these, uh, all these other people fish bait so that they can, they can keep trying to catch their stringfish. Pudding makes our ninth stringfish of the night. There's been nine, nine stringfish caught. So congratulations. He had given up and left so salty. And uh, it, it, it finally happened for him. So, uh, real quick, Dasby, where can people find all your stuff? Uh, you can check out all the shows, uh, Nintendo Pulse and uh, Crossing Animals over at rez.tv, R-E-Z-D.tv, or just hit me up on Twitter at Dasby, D-A-S-M-E. Perfect. Pitt, you got anything you want to shout out, Twitter or anything like that? No, no, not currently. Thanks, man. Yeah, you bet. And Super Nintendo, where can we find you besides the future? Besides the future, um, you can find me on Twitter at Super Nintendo, and I'd just like to shout out um, the best Google Stadia podcast <laughs> on the internet, the Stadia cast, hosted by Lloyd and uh, some Run Jump 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 Run Jump Sound. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow. All right. Guys, thanks for uh thanks for checking this out. This little uh, little micro interview and go go check out those uh, go check out those other podcasts and whatnot. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.